Yeah, so we we are in a situation. Uh, just today, I was uh, I, I watched a video from the Islamic Resistance, uh, officially saying that the the Iranian uh, response to the Israeli assassination of Hanayi Han 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 sorry, Hanayi 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 H A N I Y E. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so they said that the response would be slow. It would take time. Just, you know, calm down, everybody. And at the same time, I see that the response is already taking place economically. Israel is getting a, 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 a very big economic struggle and pressure over the, you know, canceled flights, yeah. people leaving the country. Now everybody has dual citizenship there. So um, do you think that this is already part of the, the the plan? You know, keep keep the things. Just today I was talking to the Iranian TV and they were saying that, you know, people are afraid in Israel. You know, this, this is a very tricky mind work, you know, that uh, you keep people yes. scared. Yeah, so there are... Uh... And I teach people with uh, to carry a concealed firearm. We talk about four levels of awareness. Uh, the the most basic level is being unaware, like when you're asleep or you, you know you, you're not paying attention to anything mm -hmm. around you. The next level is alert, where you're aware of your surroundings, but nothing is, you know, setting off alarm bells. Uh, so uh, then, uh, or, well, it goes from unaware to aware, and then alert. Alert is that there actually is a threat. You're you're prepared. You're not sure. And then the highest level is alarm. Well, the reason I bring that up is human beings cannot stay at the alarm level all the time. You just will wear you out. Mm -hmm. Well, that's where Israel is right now. They're at that alarm level. And it takes psychological toll. Uh, and it's at some point, it's going to exhaust them. The, the same for the United States. We got a, you know, a literally uh, two carrier task force groups in the area. I don't know. I lost count of the number of destroyers, cruisers that are part of that. You got a Marine is to be called a Marine Amphibious Unit, a Marine Expeditionary Unit uh, in the Eastern Med. Uh, you've got at least two or three uh, squadrons of combat aircraft. You've got 35s, F-22s, and I believe F-16s. Not to mention on the ships you got F-8. So, you know, all of this. Well, we're out on a hair trigger. Ready? 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 You know, so waiting, 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 waiting. And at some point, you, the guard comes down. Uh, Iran is exactly right. There's no rush. And, and people should, if, if they doubt it, they go back to uh, summer of 1988 when the USS Vincennes shot down an Iranian Airbus in the Persian Gulf. And they were about revenge. Six months later, Pan Am 3 exploded over Scotland. Now, the bomb on board reportedly had been placed by the two characters. Uh, you can see in the uh, right back here mm -hmm. that that poster uh, to to my right uh, is of uh, Lama Feeman and uh, 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 Megrahi. And the two that were fingered as lit agent placed the bomb on the plane. But there is strong belief that uh, this was done at the behest of Iran. So the, let's remember that Iran was willing, in that case, to wait six months for revenge. This will be, uh, again, for Israel, they're not just, they're not longer just fighting Iran. They're fighting Iran with Russia and China and with Hezbollah 
And with Hamas, they still they can't beat Hamas. I mean, they can't beat the ten months. And it's the well, the, the they haven't really been fighting the Houthis per se. The, the United States can't beat the Houthis. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the United States tried to shut down, and you and you've got to wonder what you know how leaders in the region look at this. They go, well, wait a second, we thought the U.S. Navy was almighty. Such per- uh, organization and now this they can't they can't uh, defeat the peace. So it's you know we're, we're, like I said we're in, we're in some real interesting times. Yeah, that's that's one, another point. I just yesterday there was a live stream in uh, Carl Ja uh, channel with Kevor Um Two also two uh-huh. great uh, analysts, fantastic people as well that has been in the channel before. Um, and one of the questions I asked Kavork was, uh, so I asked in 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 the chat. I I was in the chat. <laughs> I asked Kavork uh, what he thinks about the, the the regional leaders. I would say and uh, how how likely or unlikely would be that, um, you know, other countries in the region just at some point, and, and I, you, you have answered this question with this last sentence you just said, you know, people look at the United States and say, hey, <laughs> that's not the, the, the angry dude that destroyed Iraq some years ago anymore. So how likely would be that countries in the region, and I mean, when I say countries, I'm basically talking about Saudi Arabia, because other countries don't have any capabilities at this moment, to ditch Iran, to turn its back on Iran, and, and, and you know, follow the United States and Israel lead against Iran. Well, Israel's counting on the West going to war with Iran. They're counting on getting Europe involved in attacking Iran. And the the problem with that is, I see it, the West is grossly making gross calculation. They greatly underestimate the capability of the Iranian military. Mm -hmm. You know, it's sort of our tendency. We always, you know, talk down other countries. Oh, they're no good. They're terrible. Well, uh, how can we make Look this those seven men on the top. ship? Yeah. Well, yeah, the, exactly. The you know, the, if if the Taliban are so weak and so terrible, they kicked our ass. You know, the United States lost in Afghanistan. Ditto, yeah. you know, we were not able to fully consolidate, quote, control of Iraq, as you would have, a, as we saw, like, with respect to Germany or Japan at the end of World War II. We certainly lost in Vietnam. So we, we, the United States just sort of needs to get some humility and shut the hell up to stop letting other people about something that we're not capable of doing. But, you know, this is... Uh, this is an extremely dangerous time because mm-hmm. it's not like we're waiting for a war to start between Israel and Iran, Hezbollah, and Hamas. It's already underway. It's been underway for uh, you know more than ten months, actually, mm-hmm. years. But the intensity has increased over the course of the last year. So uh, Israel's conducting assassination runs. Israel is killing uh, members of Hezbollah, and Hezbollah is firing rockets back, uh, you know, reportedly over 60 yesterday yeah. into Israel at, a, at an Israeli military base. So let's just be clear. The, the war is underway. It's just a matter of how much intensity and how many casualties are actually going to be caused. Up to this point, uh, Hezbollah appears to have shied away from inflicting massive casualties on Israelis. That may change. 